welcome to Spotlight on Bensonville. My name is Kelsey Faywell, Associate Planner, your host for this episode. Today we are joined by Aging and Community Specialist Brad Winnick of consulting firm Planning Slash Aging to discuss Bensonville's upcoming Aging and Community Workshop scheduled for November 3rd, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. This workshop facilitation has been awarded to the Village through its participation in the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus Aging in a Changing Region program. Brad, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and welcome. Thank you much. Uh, very happy to be here. Like you, I'm also a planner by, by training and after a couple of decades working and leading all sorts of large-scale planning projects, I decided to spend the last chapter in my professional career focusing on the intersection between community planning and planning for a growing older adult population, which is relevant to virtually every municipality. Absolutely, perfect. Thank you, we're happy to have you here. Great. So what exactly is Aging in a Changing Region? Well, as you indicated, it's a program which is uh, three organizations running this program. I'm partnered with the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus, which is a collection of municipalities throughout the region, CMAP, the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, which is the regional planning organization for the region, as you well know, and Planning Aging, my firm that you introduced previously. We solicited and got awarded a grant from RRF Foundation for Aging to support municipalities throughout the region who are at various stages of, of coming to grips with the aging demographics in their region and what they can do to be supportive of aging in community. And when we say aging for a changing region, what we refer to is it's changing in its demographics. It's growing older, as is virtually every region in this country. Yeah, absolutely. So it's super important that we address these issues ahead of time and really plan for our future. So some people are familiar with the expression aging in place. Yep. How does aging in place differ from aging in community? Yeah. Great question, and you're completely right. People use the terms interchangeably. Uh, I like to differentiate, differentiate them as follows. When you introduce yourself or I introduce myself, we generally give the names of the community where we live. I live in Bensonville, I live in Chicago, I live in Addison. Rather than I live at 233 Jacqueline Drive, you know, so when we identify and we self-locate, we give our community. So aging in place, you can think of as more of a micro, what I can do within the four walls of where I live to try to make things supportive for me as my needs evolve over time. Aging in community is pulling back the lens. What can the community do to try to support everybody, but specifically older adults as their needs evolve over time? So it's a scale question. Okay, so we'll be saying this term a lot throughout this discussion. What does it mean for a community to be age friendly? Well. The big picture is that the entire community should be a livable community for all ages. So it shouldn't be just about older adults. But interestingly, I think when you take a, a big picture, whole of enterprise approach, you'll realize that what's important to older adults are pretty much the same things that are important to younger adults. And there's been some surveys to document that. Both groups want a diverse and an affordable and accessible range of housing options. Everybody wants to be able to get around the community with either vehicular or non-vehicular modes of, of travel in a safe and an easy way. People want to have a network of well-connected public spaces, outdoor, indoor spaces, etc. People want access to a, a reasonable range of goods and services, and people want an accessible and a responsive municipal government. So really, those are not older adult concerns. Those are not younger adult concerns. Those are general concerns. And when I say a community should be age friendly, it should be aware of all of those concerns and try to look at any plan, program, proposal as to how it will impact, support, or you know, perhaps sometimes it'll be seen that that may not support the needs of some or all of the population. So big picture approach, multi-sectoral, multi-generational. 
So shouldn't our goal really be for Bensonville to be a livable community for all ages, not just supporting older adults, just as you said? Absolutely. Could not agree to you more. And, and so I spoke just a moment ago about how I believe a lot of the needs are very consistent with younger adults, older adults, young families, you know, older individuals. But I'd also like to think that very often people move to a community at an earlier point in their life. It's, it's rather kind of a typical process. People move to a community at an earlier point. So you move to a community for reasons that are important to you when you might be a young, younger person or a younger adult or maybe when you're you know, in your you know, family years and you move there for particular reasons. But you, the good news is, and I know that this is the case in Bensonville because I know a lot of people have spent their lives in Bensonville, you put down roots and you fall in love and you develop your connections and your social capital at an earlier point in your life. And the last thing you would want someone to do at a subsequent point in their life is because the things that aren't working for them in the community be forced to move to uproot themselves, to tear themselves away from all of their social connections because really there's lots and lots of data within the aging world that if that happens, that, that is never a good thing for one's personal well-being, personal health, physical health, mental health, social connectivity, leading to isolation and all the negative you know, elements that you know, that connotes. Yeah, absolutely. And that's our goal for Bensonville. We want our residents to stay here. This is a lifelong yeah. community, and we want to make sure that we're providing the best services to everyone of all ages for their entire life. We want people to come here and stay. So, which is exactly why we're going to be hosting a couple workshops coming up. The big one for our residents will be on November 3rd, 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the Village Boardroom. So this is where we will be able to get some invaluable feedback, which is our goal of participating in this program. We want to hear about the services that we offer, the programs we have, our infrastructure, you know, anything else that someone can think of from all of our residents. And the best thing about this workshop is that we will be able to have our taxing bodies and organizations, local businesses, essentially all village partners at the table. Yep. And so if you couple that feedback, you know, or couple those two feedbacks together, we will be able to have a crucial conversation about what our community and how what our community is and how we can plan for the future and you know we just want to strive to make Bensonville as age friendly as possible and really plan for our longevity as a community at, at the workshops i'll talk about and we'll see evidence of what i consider the 360 degree input so like you say we're going to have the residents giving their thoughts, their input, and that will augment some of the input that we've received to date from some of the internal municipal parties, some of the key stakeholders in town, some of the folks from the business community, the aging network, et cetera. So we're gonna try to get everyone's input, and I promise everybody who comes on November 3rd, I, I, I can, I know from decades of doing it, I can lead a rather good public mm -hmm. meeting. So I will facilitate and draw out input. I will, we will have conversation. Think of it as if there are 50 people there, it, it may feel more like 50 one-on-one -on -one conversations than one large meeting with 50 people. We're, we're very sincere about wanting to get people's input. The good, the bad, the unvarnished. We want to hear what people say about living at the point in their lives where they are and their thoughts about, perhaps it's in the future, how they envision aging in Bensonville so that I can help support you and your colleagues to come up with some strategies that might Im enhance the support for aging in community even more. Absolutely. I mean, no feedback is bad feedback. We want all residents any business, anyone in town to come to this workshop and tell us what you think. It's beneficial to all members of our communities and also what's going to be super helpful for this workshop on November 3rd is that about a week before 
we will be meeting with our local stakeholders and kind of having a, an introductory conversation in preparation for the second workshop. And so, you know, that will provide a comprehensive look into essentially everything at this workshop. It'll be great to just, again, as I said, have everyone at this table and allow for this free-flowing discussion. And, you know, because it's not just one taxing body or it's not just one facility. This is, this is a village-wide endeavor. We have to think about it with all hands on deck. Absolutely. Could not agree with you more. I like to refer to it as a, as, it's a whole of enterprise approach. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, if you are interested in RSVPing to the workshop, you can contact my, me, Kelsey Fawell, at the number and email on the screen. <laughs> and also, if you are unable to make the workshop, that is unfortunate, but we do understand. So we will have a page on our website which will show the presentation that will be presented at the workshop. And we will also have a comment form so you can provide your feedback to us since you were not able to attend. So please come to our workshop on November 3rd from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and give us your feedback, tell us what you think about our community, and we are looking forward to discussing with you. And thank you, Brad, for coming on the show and facilitating our workshop. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Spotlight on Bensonville.